morning. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. Uh, what we wanted to do today, uh, hard to believe that it's been almost a year and a half since that photo was taken, where we welcomed uh, Pastor Greg and Priscilla to this church. And here we are now saying goodbye. So what do you get the boy who has everything? <laughs> Why don't you guys come on up? So I knew Carol could sew. Uh, I knew that she could work on big projects, you know, like this banner over here, the patriotic banner. But uh, Josh is a little quick on the trigger back there. So. Come, come on up here and put this little thing on his, and this is, this is actually for him. So what we're going to do is put it on him and have him model it, but then we'll put the slides up so you can kind of see. Uh, it's got a few symbols because we figured yesterday they were in New Mexico, the week before that they were in Alaska. And they'd forget us if we didn't give them something, right, from the church, so. So why don't you uh, do your Vanna White thing and go over there. <laughs> this is. <laughs> okay, so it's got a few symbols of his time here. Obviously, this Baptist boy. Uh, <laughs> next one, Josh. We had to put something that would show his new disciples bent uh, that uh, has now become kind of his influence. I am now Christian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks be to God. Amen. Did you model for these people over here too? I did. I did, but would that make you feel? Yeah. OK, next one. Now, this one, obviously, he did the series, and, and I think, did you do a book on, on this, too? <laughs> uh, and so, so we have those two symbols, and then there's a surprise symbol on the back. Uh, next one, yeah. Oh. There is abundance, and that's for people that want to stand behind him to see that. And then uh, the next one, uh, that is out of order, but it is a nice sentiment. It says, thank you, First Christian Church, Bonner Springs. And that's on the inside. The next one. This is a uh, centuries-old church out in Taos, New Mexico that he took me to when we were on a trip out there. It's been painted by many famous artists. And next one. And they also have sculpted a silver pin that is on right here, that the lovely Priscilla picked up on a recent trip to Santa Fe about a month or so ago. So um, Bill Roseheim is here to, to observe this, to know that now Greg is ready for more disciples congregations and things. <laughs> but uh, you know, we're thrilled for the time that you both were here, obviously. And there's going to be more stuff. But uh, Carol spent about 50 hours hand sewing this. So you probably want to give her a hug before you move. This is absolutely gorgeous. And the sim symbolism, I'm going to be wearing it with my bathrobe. And, and <laughs> yeah, it goes well with our guy. This, at so many different levels, touches my heart. And, and I just have to express appreciation. Uh, and, and in anticipating more into the service, I, th there will be a point at the end of the service where, where we're, you know, acknowledging a changing of the guard uh, again. But uh, the personal way this expresses um, our place together, our life together, and, um, and, and things that are special to me is just uh, unspeakable. I, I, I really do have to say that... that um, I received this gladly as the creative gift it was, the creative mind, the creative hands, and a creative congregation 
because this is really from all of you and it represents a love we share that uh, will carry on, right? Do, do we have permission to be friends forever? Yes. Ah, very good. Thank you so much. God of light and God of truth, you have sent the world, Jesus Christ, to reveal your light, to live your truth, and to show the way to, to your presence. In breaking bread this morning, we realize that we are a part of your community of faithful people down through the ages. Let us find in eating this bread the strength to be true to that heritage and to continue being a light to the nations. In remembering the Christ whose body was broken for us, help us realize also the presence of the living Christ in our midst. In sharing this cup you have given us through Jesus Christ, dear God, we are affirming our faith in the one who said, take up your cross and follow me. Help us to live up to this affirmation that we may be your faithful people one in the unity of the love poured out for us on Calvary. Give us in drinking this cup the guidance we need to follow your path, the strength we need to take up your cross, and the grace we need to be Christ's people in a difficult world. Hear us as we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So picky. Okay. Can you hear me okay now? Yeah. So we, yeah, so, so um, as, as I draw my interim ministry to a close, as Priscilla and I, uh, just with great joy, um, extend our welcome to this wonderful family uh, for the next chapter, uh, we wanted to symbolize that say, say uh, and express in some various ways our appreciation. I might note again, I'll, I'll be wearing this so that you can come and take a close look at, at your gift to me. Thank you so much. And, and I think it's also notable that uh, Johnny Walker lent his soul to the creative process. His souls then became models for the shaping of a soul. So Johnny, thank you for your part in this as well. Okay, so uh, Priscilla, I need you to come up here and Carla, I need you to come up here as well. We have, we have some things here that, uh, that we think can symbolize this moment, and this is not going to be entirely tidy here, <laughs> but um, I'll do it as best I can. You know, one of the early things that happened when I showed up as, as interim pastor of this church was that uh, David Vitar Newbert made sure that I had chocolate on my table <laughs> in my office that could be shared with others. That tin can is precious to me. It's not going anywhere but to my place. <laughs> so this is a new one, but these are some of the chocolates that were remaining in it by the end of my days. And I now bequeath these to you to place on the table in your office where you can gather with others around the table of four or whoever, and uh, a little bit of that. Um, we have some other things here that are, um, you certainly may. Um, you know, ministry is a serious business, but hopefully not too serious, right? Uh, ministry can get too serious, and congregations can get too serious, and sometimes in our earnestness we can get all wrapped up in knots, and so it's, it's helpful for us to uh, 
you know, have other points of view. I'm, I'm aware that as, um, as this ministry begins, it's really not just about Rick's ministry. It's a family ministry, right? I mean, this family means uh, Amanda and Nick and Sylvia who are part of this uh, life of this community now. This is a little something for Sylvia. Had she been here this morning, she could have had this, and we would have asked her to hold on to it until after the service was over before making bubbles, but this is a, a bubble maker. And um, <laughs> we also uh, have this because, you know, ministry does take energy, and that energy drains. So here's some batteries for you to uh, <laughs> keep the batteries going. Um, Priscilla, you, you might want to say one about that, that next one there. Yes. So we're aware that God has a vision for this church, and he has now called you all to be part of that vision. And we also are aware that the future at First Christian Church is so bright, you're going to need shade. And Carla, um, Greg mentioned how much energy it takes to be a minister, and you are both ministers. And um, having been married to one for many years, I know that sometimes they can get distracted and be very, very busy. And so I want to bequeath to you my whistle <laughs> for when you need to get his attention. <laughs> And do know that she now has a cold, so don't put your mouth on that right now. <laughs> oh, and, th and this I want to share with you. This is a heart that um, I want to give to you to symbolize that when you give your heart to these people, I guarantee they will love you back. The, um, the seriousness and the busyness and all of those things do indeed come into play during ministry, but it's also um, occasion for constant celebration. And so we have a few noisemakers here for you and your family to join in the kazoo fund, the accordion fund, the, the mouth harp fund, the trumpet fund, the lips fund, and... Um, and I would say to everybody here that these are symbolic uh, reminders never to forget celebration. Celebration is the lubricant of the life of a congregation, and it is one of the hearty um, central characteristics of the work of the Spirit of God, who is so evidently in, at work. You know, um, it only takes a spark to get a fire going. <laughs> And so uh, we want you always to keep the flame alive and to keep it spreading. And, uh, you know, in keeping with this uh, Living Proof series that's going right now, I endorse it as well. What a wonderful expression of holistic Christianity. Delightful to know that that's going on as your ministry begins. You know, I listened. I was, I, we were absent, but I listened to your message to this congregation on the day you were called and loved it. Uh, because it's all about love, and it's about how much love we get we are sponges receiving God's love, and we should be so full of that love that we just drip. So in honor of that, here are sponges for you uh, so that, that uh, you can keep getting replenished in God's love and keep dripping it and uh, urge the congregation Mom's in that direction. Go ahead. You know, there is a, a, a commercial that talks about the reality that sometimes we get a little grumpy uh, not everybody has a great day, right? So sometimes you need a snicker. <laughs> Keep that in mind. You know, my, my um, stole now has this wonderful symbol. You remember last September when we had there is abundance as a reminder that we need to move from scarcity thinking to abundant thinking, be generous in our giving, but generous in every expression of faith. There are some t-shirts that we preserve for pastor and pastor's wife, and you can open that up and see there's scripture attached to it that was a part of our emphasis. And you now are fully adopted into all of that uh, and the symbol that goes with it as a reminder. There is 
abundance. So there's that. I received something, and, and, and you know, I, I want to be stingy, but, you know, in the spirit of, in the spirit of abundance, I, I am sharing something that I could jealously keep and guard. But on the day that I was um, installed as the interim pastor, these were given to me, a towel and a basin at the heart of Christian service. And these are now yours as a reminder of your ministry and your calling and, um, and our joy that you are here. This is a friend of 30 years. <laughs> and what a serendipity that God and God's providence has drawn you all together and we are linked now in this way. What a wonderful thing. And, j you know, Rick is a man uh, with a servant heart who has lived his life in keeping with the spirit of this. You are so blessed to be a part of this church. This church is blessed to have you. And so it is. Um, with no further ado, I think my bag is now empty, that I now pass the baton to you. Gracious leader.